Today I'm gonna teach you how to grow on YouTube without breaking the bank. I feel like a lot of people teach ways to grow on YouTube, but they're all super fluffy or they don't apply to you or maybe you've tried everything yourself. So being a successful YouTube channel is the dream, right? Getting AdSense money, <laughs> getting that brand deals, just traveling the world and making content to inspire people. Now, how are you gonna make this work? Like there's so much competition. How are you going to stand out? How is your channel going from zero to 100? That's what we're gonna go into today. If you wanna learn how, just keep on watching. Oh my God. I feel like everybody's a social media influencer at this point. I don't even have a nice camera like, I, I guess I could just try to start my YouTube channel. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Dude, that was such a good video. I swear I'm gonna- Hi, hey, what is up guys? My name is Jade. Welcome to my channel and thank you so so much for clicking on today's video. On this channel, I post videos on how to grow on social media and a, a huge focus that has on Instagram. I'm really trying to create my channel into more of a community. So if you ever, ever have a question throughout this video, feel free to drop it below and either me or the Dharma Nation, which is the community of subscribers here on YouTube, will reply to your comment, answer it, will get your problem solved for sure. So feel free to think of questions and comment them down below if that pops up. Anyways, I hope you feel welcome. If you're new, I hope you are excited to dive right in because uh, that's what we're gonna do. So how to start a successful YouTube channel. Um, guys, you have to know anyone can do Instagram. Literally anyone can tweet, like anyone can post a picture, repost it, steal your captions, you can do whatever. But creating original content on YouTube consistently, it is hard. Hard. Not everyone can be successful YouTubers. I think the percentage of YouTubers to like influencers on Instagram is crazy. On this channel, we're actually gonna go over the content, what to post, and we're gonna go how to get awareness for it. And then lastly, we'll also get into monetization. How are you gonna make money from it? We're really gonna try to encase everything you need to know. My biggest, biggest obsession lately has been taking your passions and turning them into careers. I truly care about you guys. If you'd like to, like this video and subscribe, I would really, really appreciate it. It would truly mean the world to me. And plus, you can join the Dharma Nation, which has your back whenever you need anything. Okay, what to post on YouTube. From the earlier skit you saw, I hope it's not too, too cringy. When you start posting and you feel that you hit the wall, you you want to post things that you have ideas about. It might not be beneficial to your channel. For example, when you post original content, vlogs, it's so much harder to get traction. Unless you're like Jake Paul or like Emma Chamberlain that can just blow up from writing the YouTube algorithm just crazily, then that's you. But otherwise, a lot of people have trouble getting traction. Okay, I want you guys to picture your favorite artist. I'm telling you, they did not start with composing their masterpiece out of the blue. They started with either remixing other songs, you know, covering people. And when I think about that, when you have to, you know, do a cover of a song, you add your own twist to a original, like an already proven and layout. Uh, if you do a cover to Dua Lipa New Rules, that's a great way to get traction because the framework is already there. You just have to add your voice to it. Same with YouTube. I think artists, creators, YouTubers have very similar storylines. I would heavily suggest to you your first couple of videos need to be things that are proven to get traction. And I'm not saying that you can't do original things, but say a popular tag is emerging or slime is cool, hop on it, okay? It, it has to really, really define, it has to work for your niche. So your niche is basically a segment of a market. And if you guys don't know what a market is, it needs to be a demand for something or a product or a service, right? So what I'm telling you guys is if you can find, uh, find a way to get the most trendiest keywords and put them in your titles and really use that for the first couple months to get traction, and then you can do whatever you want is the biggest tip on what to post. And how are you gonna do that? Here's a little magic tip. So I use TubeBuddy.com. It is free and I will link below a couple. They have a different package system. But the way it works is you basically can look on TubeBuddy. Look at this magical thing, guys. You can search which one works, which one doesn't, and it gives you a score of how well it does on searches. So to summarize everything, to create content with titles that are searchable. So this might mean stay off vlogs. I feel like, and you guys might feel this too, vlogs can be damaging if not done right, right? If your titling is there, if it's like a day in the life of a school vlog, 
that is something you can do. But if it's just random stuff, it doesn't give you traction. The way you know if it's gonna have a grip on a subject is if you use TubeBuddy, search a title, and it'll give you a score. If it's above 80%, you're good. Anything below, especially if you're under a thousand subscribers, keep it off. I'm trying to get you guys to your first a thousand. I'm trying to get you guys to your first a hundred thousand, right? Just a milestone. So a lot of the things I'm telling you only works until you reach a point where you need to scale and you can do all creative things. Which brings me to my second point. Once you have a lot of subjects you've been trying, you have to double down, right? So if you do a lot of videos once a week, or what I recommend every day, it's not to grow magically. I don't think people understand when you do daily videos, it's not gonna be like some magical YouTube algorithm helping you. It's just increasing your chances. I think YouTube as a game, like it's entrepreneurship, you're taking a risk. If you can squeeze out as many videos as possible, that's what I do, do for content. Now, how are you gonna balance? Do you need to do a whole 360 rotation if something's cool and change your channel exponentially because you think something's gonna be better? I would hold off. So my biggest, biggest tip is to do 80%, 20%. This is known as the 80-20 rule. You might have heard it before. I, I don't think people ever apply it to their channels as much as they can. 80% of your focus needs to be on what does good. What gets views? It's sad to say, but you need to do what helps people the most. What do people value on your channel? Do they value motivation, entertainment, are you funny? Education, right? That's my three pillars. If you can remember that and you pick one, you know what your 80% of your focus should be. Now, 20% of it needs to be something else. I feel like people don't allocate 20% of their time because it's scary, right? I would chase that trend. If ASMR is cool, 20% of your content can be there, which means maybe post five videos that are 80% tutorials of makeup or music, but 20% can be a vlog or something fun or creative skit. That way you're balancing out what is searching and what your work is Excuse me. So you know that when a trend is emerging, you don't have to cancel it out and you don't even have to go for it. I think balancing is crucial. Too many people on YouTube is like, post consistent, like post with good content. Like, no, you need to have something that searches and something that really helps your creative mind. The 20% is actually mainly for you so you don't go crazy <laughs> because I think a lot of times making videos over and over again on a certain topic is just boring for human minds that just wants a break. So really having a separation and allocating, you know, different topics really helps you because you have to understand a subscriber typically subscribes for a certain video that pops. If you can't repeat it, you're not going to get views. And that's how a channel dies. A lot of people, they wait either too long or too, they have a popular video, but they post another topic. They just go in a different direction and it confuses your subscribers because they signed up for tutorials, but you gave them vlogs and they're like, I'm not here for this, man. The last thing I want to throw in and is what makes a piece of content good. Uh, that was rude. Good, good, good. And you guys, this is crucial, okay? Regardless what I've said, this is what's gonna get you to your first 1,000, 100,000. Watch time. You know, subscribers, likes, and views are cool, but watch time is actually what pays your bills, right? It, it really gets you going. YouTube is actually heavily focused on watch time, and that's how I choose whether a post goes viral or whatnot. So how to boost up your watch time? I kind of came up with a formula that I wanted to share. So I call it my secret sauce, but you can call it storyline. <laughs> if you're so far here and you're literally watching this video at this point, thank you, you've made it. Comment below, uh, hashtag Darmination, so I know you're the real one, because it's about to get good. How to have a piece of content on YouTube that sticks. Divide your content into three parts. So the first part is the awareness, right? Introducing the problem. The middle is the connection. Okay, and the last part is the conclusion slash solution. So one, have a hook. Literally, just watch all my videos. I have a hook in every single one. If you're confused what to say, take a look at some of them because hooks are everything. So many people don't use a hook. And what happens is people think the video is clickbait. What you put in your hook is what your title is. If you wanna just take a look at how simple it is, this one it says how to pick a niche. And literally when you watch it, it says welcome to how to narrow your niche. I'm not growing followers, I'm not growing likes. And so that's why I said no followers. So it has to match the intro and the hook, and then it goes into my little channel banner intro. My favorite part, the connection. You guys, anyone can do tutorials. Anybody can copy and paste on Google and spit into a video. What makes you different is the relationship you have with the viewer. Now, I'm like, this might be too fluffy for you, 
but keep in mind, this is crucial. To get that subscribe, I would tell a relatable narrative, right? So this metal section is all about storytelling. Whether you made a point before and you can somehow shove in a story, please, please do. It's gonna help you relate to the, cons the consumer better. It gives you a little bit of a social proof because you have something to say. It also extends the video because the way humans work is if you can tell people about a vulnerable struggle, they'll most likely be able to be open up to and subscribe, right? It's all about being open and getting trust. When you tell a problem, humans bond on trust. So tell a story. Okay guys, so the last part is all about results and just action, right? I would really recommend you to have a strong call to action. Too many people forget to uh, ask, you know, at the very end, after you give so much value, just remember to say subscribe. I would never ever say like and subscribe too in like if you push it too far in the beginning it becomes way too salesy people are turned off and you've seen people they're like get this video to 20,000 likes and it's super annoying because you haven't even watched the video and you're like what the fuck lastly guys storytelling is huge and it takes time not, not everyone can do this guys so don't be hard on yourself it will take you not two weeks not not four and a half months okay it might take you longer and it, for channels that explode just don't base your success off that because you need to be really real with yourself and just do this for fun. And don't focus on numbers, focus on what builds trust, which is helping people, telling a narrative, telling that vulnerable part of your story um, and giving that a little bit of structure with my secret sauce recipe will help you. And I'm telling you, YouTube is amazing and it's a dream, but there's a reason why there's not a lot of people that are successful It's because it takes so much vulnerability. It takes so much hard work dedication editing Editing oh my it takes time and you can't like shortcut it ever the moment you shortcut it is the moment You're gonna get run into a scam. You're gonna run into Unengaged followers and this channel is here for you whenever you're needing some sort of motivation education and of course Entertainment so every day I want you guys to take the skeleton and think of a video idea and just write it down plan it out and just do that every day, a little by little. Tweak your script, tweak the skeleton or the secret sauce guide for creating bomb videos. Just make sure you don't overwhelm yourself. Every day, just write down ideas and always, always, always storyline from the beginning to the end so your watch time goes up and so does your views and subscribers. All right, guys, I know it can be stressful sometimes and you're maybe like, hey, Jade, this is so cool, but how does it apply to me? Like, I feel like I don't know what to do for my niche or my videos well free fee <laughs> feel comment below i will respond to you or the dharma nation which is you guys will comment back and answer some of your questions some of you guys are at it sometimes so that would be great too feel free to subscribe to this channel if you thought it was helpful and if you really thought it was helpful and you really want to help a friend it's a lonely journey and you have maybe a youtuber friend that would love to hear this make sure you share this video by clicking this link or you know copy and pasting it somewhere i really appreciate it and i'm telling you your friend would probably too all right guys i will catch you guys in the second part which will be linked below make sure you watch it don't miss out it's a good video for free i don't i don't honestly know why i'm doing this for free anyways you guys i love you so so much feel free to check the links below if you need one-on-one -on -one coaching I'm here too. Um, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching as my business plan and I help people grow their channel, their business, and their brand. So if you want to learn how, just click some links below and I'll tell you how you can get in touch with me personally. I'll catch you guys in the second part of this video when we talk about distribution and getting attention on your channel after you have the content down. So catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Yeah.